Oh. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I'm just uh, trying out some uh, electro culture. Uh, some of you might have heard about this. Uh, basically, trying to make vegetables grow. And we're using uh, basically the idea is to capture energy from the air using copper wire. Okay. And that goes into the ground. And so the idea is that we basically got one in already is we bring uh, electricity or charge energy, if you like, from the ether, from the air, and it basically goes into the ground. So this is just a vegetable patch we've got going in the last few weeks, obviously, because we're in uh, Phuket, Thailand, uh, near the equator, then things grow pretty fast. Uh, so we got some um, uh, cucumbers, or what, if you, what would you call them in the States? Yeah, Zucchinis, yeah. yeah. We've got some, uh, this is a kind of rocket salad stuff as well, buried in there. Okay, so you can always, you can see it's already just, I mean, this is just uh, from seed. No, was it from seed? Yes, it was from seed. So uh, it's pretty uh, fantastic already. So there's probably going to be some separation going on here. Now, this is not going to be an exact science, but uh, I just want to say, well, but what I am doing is I've got um, one end here. So it's just a, just got a bamboo thing here. So this has cost me very little to actually put together. I've got some copper wire. Uh, it's basically, this is the kind of stuff you can buy by the meter uh, down at a hardware store. Hello, Tony. Hi. You all right, my man? Um, so, yeah, I stripped off, stripped off the insulation. Depends what you can buy. Some people recommend getting some, like, some of the thicker ones, big, thick electric copper wire, and then you can un unravel it and get the different wires. But, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Really, so I'm just recording this to to kind of get, see if there's a time when we can make a comparison. So bamboo here, and wrapping around, wrapping the copper wire. You know, it's just an average length. So, uh, hang on a minute, my love. Yeah, I'll just show you. I really just li literally, oops, started off down the bottom there, put the wire into the bottom. Okay, I've got some blue peter holes that I made earlier. So here's a here's a hole that I made earlier. So I'm just basically what I'm attempting in this. This one is to just have this in the ground. Okay, that will go in there. Let's go. Ah, getting in a bit deeper, right in there. Okay, so, and uh, just uh, put it down a bit. Yeah, so this is, um, what's this? Uh, oh, I can't remember what you call this one. Oh. <laughs> it's lovely, it's very pungent, this one. Uh, I can't remember the name. And we've got some some lessons going on here. So basically, what I what I've aimed to do here, if I just give you a long shot, is you can see that um, now I've just put that one in on the left here, and that's in line with this one. Now some people talk about making this trail, putting this trail of copper wire in a trench in there. Other people just talk about doing it this way. Um, I figured if we're going to be doing something with any kind of energy or electricity, we, we need to create some kind of connection. Um, so that's why I've just kind of, you know, if somehow they connect uh, just through through the soil, whatever. So there's nothing in between these apart from soil, just nice fertile soil. So uh, that's it. I mean, it's nothing special, but it's, uh, it's a start, you know. Um, We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, I'm just going to leave these wires out this way. That's kind of, you know, and this one's going out that way. I've no idea if you might need two wires on each one. But uh, there you go. So what also I'll do uh, if, you know, let's see if this patch is affected in the same way as, as, as this patch. So we've got a couple of the same things here. You know, these are almost ready to eat anyway, but they'll just c continue growing and we can just continue picking them. Um, <coughs> <coughs> oh, just remember the name of this one, fennel. Fennel, yeah? So this is um, popular in Thai dishes as well as, uh, as, as 
Western dishes. It's looking a bit jaundiced at the moment, I think, because it's it's putting up with some extreme heat in the in the daytime. I think we've got some tamarind. It looks like a, the beginnings of a tamarind tree, but it might turn into something else. I'm not sure over there. Yeah. So this um this rocket, this you know this stuff is really this is basically you you eat this and and it's like um it's like wasabi you know just like the 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 japanese mustard yeah exactly i don't think this is the actual thing but it's the same exact taste uh just kind of and uh i think we've got some kapow here um this is uh yeah uh basil yeah it's a very popular in thai dishes so yeah, there you go. Uh, that's the setup. All right. Uh, as I said, just just kind of recording this to see uh, see how. It, oops, sorry, Abby. So there it goes. We'll see if that makes any difference. Apart from that, I hope you're all doing all right. And uh, well, uh, I do plan to uh, do another one later on today if I've got time. Got to hop off to the market first though, and. Um, yeah, I want to talk about uh, the whole whole thing with uh, indirect evidence and the way we've been led to believe that we live on a globe with with just just a collection of indirect evidence. Um, uh, we can we can go through through some of that indirect evidence and talk about it and uh, and the lack of curvature as well uh, and maybe the other aspects of the journey. But for now, I'm going to sign off and. Uh, Wish you a good weekend and we shall catch up very soon and hopefully we'll uh, get some updates on this. Yeah? All right.